Yeah, we got a 2021 uh, RAV4, Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XLE doing an oil change, but just installed this Fumoto valve. They have a couple Fumoto valves out there. Uh, they got uh, one where it's a solid body like this one, and then they got one where it's a two body, and the two body allows for more angles. Uh, but with the two body, I have concerns about leaking, so I went with the original OG one body. Now, with the one body, a couple updates. This particular model number is a F133N. The N stands for nipple. So uh, there's three types. There's one that's a F113. Doesn't have the nipple here. It barely has anything. And then there's one that has a short nipple with the S. And you can probably put on a, a hose there, but uh, you probably need a clamp or something as well too. And then this one's an end, which is a long nipple where you can just put a hose on here and uh, drain it into a bottle uh, without worrying about it slipping. So I got the one with the long nipple. The other thing is the old model is actually called a F103 or F103N. The newer version is a 133. So the middle number uh, increased to a three and that increase uh, is higher flow, larger body, higher flow. Now, a lot of people have concerns around the long nipple. Um, you know, will it clear this plate? And so I'm gonna show you that it does clear. So you can put back this uh, OEM on it and it'll clear. No problem with that. I will note that it is it does stick down a lot more than where the original uh, oil drain nut sits so it does sit lower so if you do go off-roading you probably want maybe uh the original or short nipple but if you're just daily driving at the height of this car already it's unlikely that you're gonna be going over a speed bump that <laughs> is gonna be scraping the bottom and damaging this so if it's your daily driver i go with the long nipple if you do some sort of off-roading like actual off-roading, which is questionable in a RAV4, but some people do it, like actual like rock climbing and stuff, then uh, I wouldn't even go with um, a few motor valve just because of the height clearance from this bottom part, um, unless you really raise your car. But even then, I, I have some some reservations. If you have a, a forerunner where you have cross. Uh, you have these bars and all these other stuff and skid plates that will, will protect it. Then I go up for the long nipple on the RAV4. Daily driver, long nipple. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, so it, as because this is a, a daily driver, this long nipple will make oil changes a lot more easier and quick. All you do is there's a cap here. Um, it's off right now, but you put on the cap to prevent this valve from moving. And then in order to uh, open up the valve. You don't gotta take this off anymore. All you gotta do is just push. I guess you pull, pull back and down, and it opens up the valve, and then it'll drain out. And then you close it. You just push in and up, and that's it. And it locks it in place. So that's a lot easier than um, pulling out the nut every single time and making a mess. Highly recommend it. Have it on all my other cars. I even had it on my Slam Miata, a long nipple, and it was just fine. I have it on my 4Runner. Uh, I have it on a lot of cars. Uh, it has not failed me once. Just follow the instructions to install. Don't over tighten it. Make sure that you tighten on the body and not this uh, hex part or else you'll break it. Make sure you get the right model. Make sure you get it from a legit place too. There's a lot of counterfeits out there for everything nowadays. So, highly recommend.